the extremely powerful China study group met yesterday. and took a slew of decisions with regard to China, how to deal with China. Now what are those decisions? We have to wait and watch. But let me give you a sneak peek. I am Rajiv Sharma, friends. Now first of all, Let's talk about China Study Group. China Study Group is a very powerful classified body. It was raised in 1975 by the then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi. And uh, it is chaired by the National Security Advisor, present. Uh, at that time, there was no National Security Advisor. So, now the practice is that China study group is presided over, chaired by the National Security Advisor that is currently Ajit Duval. Now it has uh, all top bureaucrats in the civilian setup and the military setup as its members, particularly Foreign Security, Home Security, Defense Security. Cabinet Secretary. So, one can, the role of China Study Group is to advise the government of India on matters related to China. So, one decision is to come down heavily, more heavily upon China after Chinese intransigence in refusing to budge over the disengagement negotiations as far as their presence in eastern Ladakh is concerned. Chinese troops are 8 kilometers inside the Indian territory in eastern Ladakh and they refuse to get out. So now that winters are approaching and it's a long, long, hot winter as far as India is concerned and huge number of troops are deployed on both sides and number is really huge and then there are backup forces and India has matched man for man, ammunition for ammunition, armament for armament. Now, one of the important decisions taken by the China study group is to shut out China from more economic spheres and ensure that the Chinese companies do not do business in India or they are discouraged. Now, this is something that is extremely important in the sense that the world has gotten up, stood up against China, US, UK, European Union, Canada, Australia, New Zealand. So there is no dearth of diplomatic support as far as India is concerned and diplomatic support is coming from foreign quarters and the Biden-Harris team that is uh, Joe Biden and uh, Kamala Harris, uh, those who are uh, running for president and vice president of the United States of America in the November presidential elections, they have made it very clear that they, they are rooting for India and if they come to office, uh, one of their primary tasks will be to make the Indo-Pacific region stable and, uh, um, you know, uh, deal with uh, China more forcefully with the help of like-minded democracies like India. So, 
but the crucial decision of china study group will be and we don't know what is the picture whether india will reopen the tibet case in united nations next month this is an unfinished business for last seven decades un was approached on the tibet issue in 1950 and that will be a very important thing to see now let me come to the second part of this video editorial friends and uh, that is japan now india has to deal with china more stridently more strongly more forcefully and in a manner that the chinese realize that they, that their actions are not without repercussions not without consequences not without costs so as i was talking about the international diplomacy one of the important countries which i did not name in that context is japan now india and japan are going to have their next summit next month now this is something i will talk in greater details in a separate video but let me just say that it will be a virtual summit and uh, definitely no prizes for guessing that the dragon will be in the room so friends wait for my that japan video also in the japan and uh please i hope that you like this comment over this and subscribe to my channel rajiv kishan